Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker. I'm not gonna do a long intro, and yes, I am another YouTuber that's gonna review that Jones Road Foundation. So if you wanna get my brutally honest opinion on this product, stick around and let's get into it. Okay, I have been testing this foundation for about 14 days. If you know, then you know that I operate under a scorecard system, so I like to keep it relatively short, sweet, and objective. Who wants all the fluff when you're trying to figure out what to buy? We're gonna run through the scorecard. It starts with the first question, all about anger. Ingredients. I do see coconut oil derivatives in here. If your skin does not tolerate that, it's going to be your pass. Phenoxyethanol, the very bottom of the list. It is a small percentage as a result of that. Some people will not use it. I'm okay. I'm okay with it, but that is a personal decision. Jojoba, castor oil, sunflower seed. These are great ingredients and they were all kind of closer to the top. Also a little bit of a hybrid skincare kind of product with sodium hyaluronate, smaller molecular size than hyaluronic acid. So it's a humectant that's supposed to help moisturize the skin. So there's that like hybrid element of it. But overall for ingredients, looking pretty good to me. Also, thank you Jones Road for the glass container because the miracle balm in the plastic, a lot of plastic. I was not gifted this product. You're getting my fully honest opinion. As always over here, if you like that kind of thing, don't forget to take two seconds, hit the like button, and let's move on. The second thing I wanna tell you, application. This, this stuff got panned in so many ways on TikTok, it was pretty funny. That's the thing about those short form videos. Sometimes they're not looking at it from all angles. It's supposed to build and blend into the skin seamlessly, so did it. Depends on the tool you're using. I at first thought it was gonna be all hand. Finger application seemed like it was working for me and that's how I filmed my demo. But then later in the week, that wasn't sitting so well on top of the skin with finish, which I'll talk about in a quick second. I ended up really liking the sponge. That gave me more of a flawless, natural look, which is what this thing promises, and by thing, I mean foundation. The Kabuki brush, total fail. It's a dense brush. It gave streaks. Serious streaks, not good. Go. I almost gave it a four, but I ended up with a three out of five on this. The coverage, however, it did get a four out of five. It gave really great coverage. And I have watched different videos from Bobby herself talking about how to apply it. She mentions that it's sheer as a product. I didn't feel like it was a sheer product. At first, when I applied this, it looks very opaque. It is a thicker formula. It feels like a day cream going on the skin and it is very dewy and the touch test is there so it's a little bit tacky. If you don't like those things, you will not like this product, I imagine, unless your skin is extra dry and it just like sucks it up and loves it, which could also be the case. It gave really lovely coverage. It evened out redness, like champ, light to medium, follow through on the claim, absolutely. I could build it up with the sponge. Using other tools or my fingers to do that did not work for me in terms of finish, but the sponge helped. The brand recommends using the face pencils to get more coverage. I'm not the biggest fan of their face pencils, so I wouldn't do that, but I'm just, adding it to this review for you. Then we go to finish, right? So the coverage was nice, but when you look up close in a mirror, does it look natural? Does it have texture? Uh, it was pretty good, but I could still see that something was on my skin, no matter how I applied it. And I tried just on fresh skin. I usually like to wear SPF, so it was going to be with something. It needed to play well with others. Either way, it just, I could still see a little bit of texture on top of the skin it was just noticeable enough. And in natural light, you could tell I'm wearing product, which Hey, you're gonna be able to tell some things on there, but I don't want it to be obvious. Sometimes these creamier products do that to me, like the RMS cream foundation. Something about that texture might just not be a fit for my skin. This I liked more than that, but it still didn't give me the best finish. That was a little bit of a setback. I'll keep working with it though, got a three out of five. Now, for the wear test, well, I have to tell you about scent here. It's very um, herby, herbal. I don't know what's going on there. It's there, it's not hugely overwhelming unless you have a very sensitive sniffer. This might be a little much for you. Um, it does go away after you apply it. Wear test. I found this to look pretty nice at the end of the day, most of the days. I will actually cut to the wear test eight hours later. Here we go. I don't even know what it was. All right, it's been about eight hours. The wear on this is pretty impressive. I can see a little bit of settling on top. I can see a little bit of that flaking happening, but I'm gonna keep testing it. The first run at this wear test is very, very positive. The only thing is that I can really feel it. I can feel the dewiness and tackiness, so it's not heavy, but I can, I can still feel it. I thought it would have kind of melted in or soaked in at this point, not so much. 
I'm impressed. The test was pretty positive and it looked good. The further I tested it throughout the week, the more I started seeing a little bit of gathering. It's a, it is a richer formula, so it's going to do that on my skin type, which is combination. It's also summer, the humidity's out, so that might have something to do with it. Again, I can still feel it. It's a little bit tacky, so it's just prone to kind of maybe look a little not so fresh by the end of the day. Wear test wasn't great, it got a three out of five. Final score here was a 13 out of 20. And now it's time for the final verdict. Will it make Brit's picks? What is Brit's picks? Out of all the products that I try, hundreds of products, these are my top favorites currently. It is updated monthly. Link to this is below. So will it make Brit's picks? No. It will not. not. Not yet. I do like this more than the other Jones Road's product. Jones Road? It's not plural. Jones Road products that I've tried. I like it better than the face pencils. I like it better than the Miracle Balm. I will link all of those reviews below if you want to check them out. The finish and the wear test are the two things that are kind of preventing me from putting it on a favorites list back on my site. So I am going to keep using it. It was not a huge fail for me. Some people were like, what is this? This is terrible. I mean, it got a lot of interesting different reviews out there. So I didn't find it to be a fail. I'm being totally transparent with you. I just found it to be not as good as my other favorites out there. Also the tacky test, like it's just, it's still a little tacky, even if I said it. I'm gonna stop talking. That's the review. What do you think of this product? Have you tried it yet? I wanna know. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this one helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you right back here real soon. Until then, bye.